Today I'm going to show you how to handle irrelevant reviews on a Facebook page. In the digital space, as you know, your ratings and reviews are the most important factor that will convince the customer to even consider or make a decision to make a purchase or buy your product or services. But on some rare occasion, your Facebook page can be a target of scam reviews that has nothing to do with your business or product or services that you're offering. It's a cheap marketing tactic and it's super annoying. The thing with Facebook and even Google My Business page, you cannot individually hide and delete a bad review or even an irrelevant uh, rating and review. So today I'm going to show you what are the best way to handle an irrelevant review and what better way to demonstrate that but with an actual irrelevant review that we received yesterday. So yesterday, uh, this guy or girl, or I don't know, this looks like a fake account actually, uh, posted this review. Um, it seemed to be a credit loan. Yeah, this is definitely a fake account. No friends, no photos, yeah, just some telltale signs. Okay, so situations like this can happen to you. And what's worse is that if you don't do anything about it, uh, they will flag your website or your, your page as a viable target. And that will mean that there's more scammy reviews to come. But let's take a step back why they look for high visibility pages that what seem to be inactive or they haven't been posting for a while and um, they know for a fact that ratings and reviews cannot be deleted and it will stay there. And like I mentioned, if you don't do anything about it, there are more scammy reviews like this to come. So now what do we do? Okay, there are three things that we can do from here. First of all, report. And how to do that is by clicking this three dotted here or even this, and it will pop up the report box. You can click recommendation not relevant and then click next. And that's all. You can even take a step further and block this person and hide all the posts from Sundaraya. I will do this in a while, but first of all, I will report this profile as a fake account. And trust me, Facebook doesn't really like or Facebook don't really take this lightly. Okay, so now that we've reported this, account, the thing is that it will take some time for Facebook to take action for this. So this review will stay visible on your Facebook page um, until the action has been taken on their end. So the second thing that you need to do is to, so to do that, go to settings, templates and tabs, and then scroll down to reviews and then simply toggle it off. Okay. So what it do is that, yeah. The ratings and reviews become inactive or invisible here. Now I know for some businesses, uh, it's important to have the ratings and reviews in here. So that will lead me to my third advice, which is to monitor and wait for the Facebook action response. So a good waiting period is between three to five days. And if in cases that, like, I, like I, what I mentioned, you really need re the ratings and reviews to be visible, um, I highly suggest to post an update your page that you have temporarily hid the comments um, and it's best to accompany it with photos 
or screen shots of the reviews and ratings that you have, uh, which will be helpful for your new customers that might be looking at your page during this period. So if you think it's useful for you, feel free to like, share, and subscribe. And also if you want a PDF checklist and a recap of this topic, um, head down to the link below and I'll be happy to 